Take him near Jesus. Listen, it's Jesus' voice. He's near. I'm sure that he'll be saved when we reach Jesus. Made to the Lord, but I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let your yes be yes, and your no be no. Jesus, please tell us, how do we succeed against evil? You have heard it said that an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. This is really new. Yes, I've never heard anything like this before. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. Not even in the front of the door. Ask, and it will be given to you. No, we can try. Surely we will find a way. Knock, and the door will be open for you. confident that he will be cured. We're approaching Jesus.
everything do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law of the prophets. What are they doing? My Lord, my God! We believe you, my Lord. Take courage, son. Your sins are forgiven. Why does this fellow speak in this way? It's blasphemy! Who can forgive sins but God alone? Why are you thinking evil in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, get up, pick up your bed, and go home. your span of life. So I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body or what you will wear. Lord, my God. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. My Lord, For it is the Gentiles who strive for all of these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all of these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well.